thanks for joining us for BPC's Online Sunday School. This is week two of Blast Off, our outer space theme series. And I'm Jake. I'm Don. Um, a lot of the things we do are interactive, so if you ever need to pause your video, go ahead, pause it, get what you need to get, and then come back and join us. And we're going to go ahead and kick off with prayer. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for another week where we get to be together to learn about you. And God, I just pray that you would help us to see that you have blessed us with others who can help us grow in our faith and that you're challenging us to help others grow in theirs as well. In your name we pray. Amen. Our first game today is called Balloon Bop. And as you saw before, the supplies you'll need are a balloon, a towel or a blanket, and then some sort of target. And we're just going to make ours out of masking tape. So you will also need a partner or partners. You'll work together, and your goal is to get your balloon across the room and hit the target with it. So you could have two people, three people, four people, all working together and holding the towel or blanket, and then you're going to bop that balloon across the room and try to get to the target. had a team to do it and today we're heading back to outer space and that's because this month we're talking about how we can launch our faith in Jesus to new heights but when you're blasting off into space you probably don't want to go there by yourself in space you need a team to help you stay safe and achieve your goals and that's what we're talking about today discussion time talk about these following questions with your family If you were on a spaceship that was in danger, who is one person you would want to have with you? What would that person do to help you? What would you do to help them? Today we're going to hear a story about a man who couldn't walk, his friends who wanted to help, and Jesus who had the power to heal him. But Jesus wasn't easy to reach. This story can teach us something really important about how we can launch our faith in God to new heights. Our big idea today is people can help our faith grow. So let's watch this video to see more about that. I'm Bobby and I grew up on, on my family's farm. I moved to the big city, let adventure take me far. It's Hobbies with Bobby, Bobby, yeah! This is Hobbies with Bobby. Oh, hi there. Welcome to my family's farm. Last week, I learned that I can spend time with God. Want to see a video of a tiny goat that helped teach me that lesson? Ready for how cute this is? Check this out. But now I'm double exhausted. Playing could be just as tiring as working. Oh, hey Peter. What you got there? B, I got some walnuts, chocolate syrup, whipped cream, and bananas. For what? What are you doing? Oh, you'll see. That's my brother Peter. Sometimes he could be a pain, but most of the time he's pretty cool. Don't tell him I said Here you go. Our homemade ice cream. Is it ready? Yep. And I think you deserve a huge banana split for all the work you've done with the animals. Aww. One of my hobbies is making our own ice cream. It's pretty easy and really fun. You mix the ingredients together and put them in a mixing machine with some special ice cream and salt. Then you crank the machine around, 
Grind the ingredients until you make ice cream. My favorite flavor is mint chocolate chip. What's your favorite flavor? Tell a person next to you what your favorite kind of ice cream is. Mmm, this is delicious. Well, I was kind of tired, but this kindness is so encouraging. Maybe we could do a surprise for mom and dad. That's a great idea. Did you notice that the goat pen needs some remodeling work? It hasn't been painted in years, and there are some weeds as tall as I am. Would you help me clean it up? Hmm, I've never painted anything that big before. I'll help you. Maybe we can invite some of my friends over, and we can all do it together. Sure, we can do it together. While we gear up to go fix the goat pen, how about you hang out with Miss Sophie? She knows a lot of cool Bible stories. See you soon. It's Bible time. Time for the Bible, yeah. yeah. This is Bible time with Sophie. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Sophie. I'm a leader at Bobby's Church. I actually know a Bible story that sounds a lot like what is going on with Bobby and Peter right now. This story takes place in the city where Jesus was from. He was teaching in a house and there were people squeezed everywhere, on the tables, the countertops, and standing up outside the doors, trying to see inside. There was a group of friends who had a problem. They wanted to get their friend, who was paralyzed, to see Jesus. Their friend's legs couldn't walk, and they believed that if they could just get their friend in front of Jesus, that he might heal him and help their friend to walk. So they got on the roof. Let's look what the Bible says. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. Isn't that amazing? Jesus was teaching when he heard some noises and then bits of the ceiling started to fall through and a man came hovering down out of the air. When Jesus saw the faith of the man's friends, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Then Jesus told the paralyzed man to pick up his mat and walk. And he did. Yeah! If Bobby is almost done painting, I wonder what she has to say about that story. We did it! We painted everything and even did a colorful mural. My brother's friends were so talented. We couldn't have done it without their effort. I think this is like the Bible story. The most interesting part of the story for me is that when the man came down through the roof, that Jesus looks down at the man, then back up at the friends, and says to them that their faith has healed the man. The people around us can help grow our faith. Just like the paralyzed man in the story, I would not have gotten anywhere today without friends. Their encouragement and effort lift my spirits and helped me. But sometimes, I could be like friends, where I'm the one helping them with their faith. <laughs> Jeez, Peter, did you get anything on the wall? It's all over you. What a day. <sighs> And I still need to get ready for the fair. What fair? I want to go. The county fair? With the rides? The cotton candy? The animal competitions? Wait, I want to bring our animals to the show. That's a fantastic idea. We'll talk more about it next week. That would be a new hobby. I've never taken animals to a competition before. I wonder which ones we should bring. Well, if you come back next week to hang with me, we can learn together. Right now, I'm thankful for people who help my faith grow. It makes me want to help others grow too. Let's all be looking for ways that we can grow together. Have a great week! This is Hobbies with Bobby. Today's story is in Mark chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. Some men came, bringing to him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it, and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some teachers of the law were sitting there, thinking to themselves, Why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately, Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts, 
And he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier, to say to this paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, take your mat, and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, Get up, take your mat, and go home. He got up, took his mat, and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone, and they praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The man's friends picked him up on his mat, kind of like you did with the balloon earlier, and carried him all the way to the house where Jesus was. But his friends didn't stop there. They climbed onto the roof. They dug a hole in the roof. They got some rope and figured out what to do. They lowered their friend down toward Jesus, and hopefully they fixed whoever's roof they destroyed. But when they finally met Jesus, thanks to his friend, the man got more than he ever dreamed he would get. Jesus healed his legs, but even more importantly, Jesus forgave him and gave him a brand new life. Discussion time. Talk about these following questions with your family. What did his friends do to help him? Why do you think his friends decided to help him? So how can we help each other grow closer to Jesus? You may never need to dig a hole in a roof and throw one of your friends through it, but what are some other ways that we can help our friends get closer to Jesus? We can pray for them. We can encourage them when they're sad. We can tell them about Jesus. We could invite them to church. We can do kind things for them. It's not always easy to figure out how to help each other get closer to Jesus, and sometimes we're not sure where to start. So to help us get started, I want each of you to pick one person who you can help grow closer to Jesus this week, and then pick one person who can help you grow closer to Jesus. Remember all the ways that we've already talked about. Try to do one thing this week that will help each other grow closer. Now let us close our time with prayer. Dear God, thank you for blessing us with people that help us grow in our faith and help us to be a blessing to others and help them grow in their faith as well. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, everybody. We hope you'll join us again next week. Signing off.